everybody and welcome to this video where I'll be showing you my workflow of making a fairly complex tile set. I'll give you a few tips, tricks and techniques along the way. And by the end of this video, you should be able to make something like this. All right, so the first thing I do when I create a new tile set is that I make a new file at the same size of the tile that I want to make. And in this case, I'm going to make my tile 16 by 16. But I'm also going to create a new file which is going to contain all my tiles. And I'll just make this 128 by 128. Uh, you can always scale it up or down if you need more space later. So this tile set is going to be kind of like a two-parter thing where we start with the basic tile sets and then we move into something a little more advanced and we're just going to start here with the most basic and simple thing. So the first thing we're going to start with is this center tile right here uh, in the middle. This is really going to define our entire tile set. So I'm going to go into the file that is 16 by 16 and when I'm in here I'm going up to view mode and I'm going to enable tile mode and I'm going to say in both axes. This way you can see I can kind of draw tiling and it's really cool and it's very, very useful when you want to make a tile set. So the first thing I want to do is just find some color that's going to define the base color for a tile. I'm going to make something dirt like, so I'm just going to color it brown. I'm going to make a, a brush around size 4 here and then I'm just going to draw something in here that's going to define my tile set. And you can really do whatever you want here. There's no really limits. You can really just have fun with this and try out all sorts of random things as long as you're making something that you find interesting and fun uh, and that define the, the look that you're going for, that you're going to go with. All right, I'm just gonna add a bit of details to my tile here so it gets a little more interesting. Now that we have our basic tile here that we're going to use out through our tile set, I'm just going to select everything, so Control A and Control C to copy it. Then I'm going to go into the other file that we made. I'm just going to place it in here and place it somewhere up here. Doesn't really matter. It's just a place for you to keep track of everything. And we have now made our base center tile here for our tile set. And the next thing we're going to make is our top tile. All right, so when we're going to make the top tile, I'm going to go into our 16 by 16 tile window here again. And I'm going to go up to view mode. And I'm going to switch tile mode from both axes to only the X axis. That way we see it in the only one direction here. And we can start painting something to put on top of our tile set here. So when I paint something on top, I like to work from a dark value all the way down to a light value. So I'm j basically just going to draw a silhouette of something that's going to uh, look like our grass here. And this is going to be where we're going to paint the grass on top of it. So my next step is just to p find a dark color of my grass here. I'm just going to put it in kind of randomly. I don't really have like a way I'm doing it. I'm just kind of putting it in here very randomly, making sure it's almost covered all the black bits here. Then next up, I'm going to take a little bit of a lighter value and I'm just going to again go in, do some random movement with my mouse here and get some something in here. Uh, it's very much a cleanup process. So we go from a dark to light and we just start cleaning things up a little bit. And now I want to zoom in and try and just make something uh, that can look a bit like grass here. And I like to just make these little squares here, but you can you can do it any way, way you want to. It's, it's all about just having fun and find a creative way of doing it. I'm gonna turn on my one-to-one -one preview here so I can better see my tile set. So I'm fairly happy with this. Now we come into what I kind of call the refining phase. And this is where I'm just gonna give it some little more structure. I'm gonna add some dagger values in here that can help me sort of illustrate the uh, the shape of the grass. So I'm just kind of using my dark colors here to kind of line things up a little more. Um, and the next thing I like to do here is uh, add some light here on the top. Not all the way, just kind of a little bit. And then the next thing I want to do is that I'm just going to add a few bright squares in here as well. That's really going to make everything pop even more. All right, the last thing we are going to do with this tile is giving it some shade underneath the grass so it doesn't look as flat. So I'm just going to follow beneath here and give it a bit of light underneath it here. So it kind of looks like uh, some shadow is dropping down. Um, I'm not being super, super careful about it. Really just kind of dropping a few pixels here and there. Um, <laughs> My process is very random and I'm just kind of dropping things in here and there and not really thinking too much about it. That's been that's been working out for me in the past anyhow, just kind of doing random stuff. 
Anyway, so I really like how this turned out now. So I'm gonna select everything, copy it, and then go back into our other tile here, paste it in, and then just place it on top of our middle tile. All right, cool, we're starting to make some progress here. We've made our center and top tile. Now we are going to make our bottom tile. So you would think you would go back in here and just start working on it. No, but we're actually going back to our tile set here and we're going to copy this middle tile again. Copy that and paste it on top here. So we got a clean new tile to work with and we can start painting the bottom bit down here. All right, for the bottom bit, I think I'm going to make something where it just kind of looks like it's cracking a little bit like this. Again, I try not to be super careful when I make this. I, I It works very well for me, just kind of like dropping random colors in fast and then try and clean that up after. Um, you can see here, I didn't really think about what I was doing. I was just clicking here and there and then I can clean it up. It, it's just... Uh, it just works well for me. <laughs> Maybe it works well for you too, I hope so. Uh, but yeah, I'm just gonna start painting some stuff down here that's gonna make it look like um, it has a few cracks. All right, so we got a pretty neat looking bottom bit here. Again, copy it, go into our tile sheet here, paste it in, and I'll place it in the bottom down here. All right, so we have now made the bottom bit here, and the next thing we're going to make is the sides of the tile. So like before, we're gonna go in, copy our middle tile here. So take our selection tool, copy, then paste it in here. Then we're gonna go up to view mode again, take our tile mode and switch it to the Y axis. Ooh, fancy. <laughs> All right, you guessed it. We're going to do the same, just make a tile thing going down here. So I'm gonna speed this process up a little bit while I make the tile of the sides. All right, so let's take this, copy it, and then again, paste it in, place it here on the side next to the other one. Now, if you have made your tile completely symmetrical, you don't have to go in here and redraw the other side on the right side. Uh, you can just copy this, paste it again, put it over here, go up to edit, and then flip horizontal, and it should fit on the right side as well. If you haven't made your mid tile symmetrical, you wanna go in here and you of course want to draw something that fits the right side of your tile. But in this case, I made it symmetrical so we can just uh, get away with this. All right, so we have now made the top, the bottom and the sides and we now have to make the corner pieces and we can do a little bit of movie magic here to kind of get through this fairly fast, I think. I'm gonna show you a technique that I like to do when I make my corner pieces. All right, so I'm gonna jump into our tile sheet here again, and we're going to do a bit of magic here. So I'm just gonna take the top here, copy paste that over to both the left and the right side. And I'll do that as well with the bottom here. Just copy it, put it to the left, copy it and put it over to the right. So next up, what I want to do is I wanna take the top part of my side tile, copy that and paste it down here below and I'll take the bottom part of my side tile, copy that and put it up here. So what we're essentially doing now is trying to make a corner piece of the of the uh, top part and the side part. So we're going to merge them together. Right now it looks a little bit weird and that's what we're going to clean up now. So you may experience that there might be some error on your tile here depending on how big you made your grass and the side of your tile. But that's okay, this is just supposed to be something that's gonna make it easier for us to merge together. And we're really supposed to go in here and sort of manually clean it up now. So I'm just gonna make like a simple nice line that goes up here and kind of tries and clean, clean it all up. That's maybe a little too much. Let's try and make it a bit smaller here, something like that. Just something simple that can clean it up. We might add a little bit here and there to make it more you know, nice looking. But yeah, you just wanna make something that can kinda make the two corners uh, fit to, together very well. And, and and the kinda copy part of that should just make it just a little bit easier for you. So that was a bit of movie magic to try and make uh, the sides and top bits uh, fit better together. But that is not enough. We got more magic in our pockets, more tricks in our sleeves. 
let me show you a few cool tricks that you can do to make even more tiles available for your game and very easy and fast. So what we are basically going to do now is cut the side of our tile set and the top of our tile set and then we're going to make these like one slab uh, things here. You'll see how it's going to happen. I can take this side of my tile, just copy it over here and I'll take this side of the tile, copy that over here but we can also do it with our top here and the bottom bit. So I'm just going to take this, copy the top, and I'm going to take the bottom here and copy that down as well. So my shadow is not coming along very nice. I'm just going to make sure that my shadow comes with uh, my tile down here and copy it down again and place it like that. And that way we just made a single vertical and horizontal platform. But that's not it. We can even take the side here of our single uh, horizontal platform and the other side of it to make a single uh, tile that, that fits the theme here. So I'm just going to take these and place them in here. There's no reason for them to be out there. Yay! We have now made a very basic tile set, but we are not done yet because we're going to move into something a little more complicated and a little more advanced. And that is because we're going to add a bunch of slopes as well. This might look a little bit confusing, but don't worry, we'll try and make some sense of it. All right, so I just want to show you what we can do with the basic tile set that we just made. This is basically how we could use the basic tile set now. And let me show you what we can do if we apply what we are about to make. So you can get things to look a little more interesting and a little, I, I don't know if organic is the right word because it's still very tiled, but it can look more interesting at least. So you can see here with the basic tile that we just made, and this is what we can make after with the ones we're going to make now. All right, so let's try and break these down because they are looking very confusing the way we see it right now. So you can see here, uh, the inside turns are basically just tiles that allow us to make it look nice when we turn our tile inward. So for example, if you are to make a cave or something like that, this would be very, very useful. All right, so let's make our inward turns tiles. We're going back to our sprite sheet here. I'm gonna copy my top tile, paste it down here. I'm gonna copy my bottom tile paste it up here above and I'm going to take my side tile here, put that over here to the right and then my other side tile and put that over here to the left. And now I'm going to take my middle tile and I'm going to paste that on each corner here. And we're basically going to draw on each of these corners something that's going to be our inward turning tiles. So what we're missing now is something that can transition this tile into this tile with like an inverted turn, same over here and of course the same up here. So for the grass bit, I like to just kind of take a little bit of the grass here or whatever we have on top, it doesn't really matter, and put it over here and do the same on the opposite side, just a little bit, not all of it, just a little bit and then we can kind of manually go in here and clean that up a little bit. And that's really all we needed to do to make something that's going to make a nice um, inward corner tile. And the top bit here, because we don't have a lot of detail, this is going to be quite easy to make. So we're just going to make some pixels that's going to make it easy for us to get the same sort of look and feel that they're merging into each other. And that's really all we needed to do to make our corner tile. So let's try and remove the top and the side tiles here. And you have now just made yourself inverted turned corner tiles. All right, so the inside turn was quite simple and the next one we're going to make is the long slope tiles. They are a little bit more complicated, but I got a bit of a technique that can maybe help you out and just requires a little bit of a cleanup. All right, so let's jump back into our sheet. I'm gonna select my top here and the middle, copy that and paste it down here below. And I'm just gonna copy three of them here and I'm gonna copy one below down here. You can even remove the bottom bit here if you want to. So what we'll be focusing on right now is to make this part fit with this part down here. And that is something we're going to do with this center part here. I'm going to select everything here, remove two pixels with my selection. So deselect these two pixels here, drag this down, and I'm just going to be doing that until it fits all the way down. It's a little bit of a tedious progress, but you can find a pretty fast flow for it. All right, so we got a lot of cleanup to do here. This entire dirt section here is useless. We're just gonna get rid of that. So I'm just going to delete all the dirt here. 
basically just erasing it away and selecting uh, the big chunks that I can get fairly easy away fast. Then I'm going to take my eraser, make it a little bigger and just kind of erase it a little bit. We can keep some of it. Uh, we got some shadow in there that's nice to use, but for the most part, I'm just going to remove it. Uh, we're going to need a lot of cleanup for the grass as well. So time to fix the grass. So you can either redraw most of it. I like to just kind of go in and try and clean it up here and there. It really depends on how broken you feel like it is. For the most part, I feel like this is fine and it just requires a little bit of, uh, you know, a helping hand here and there to make it somewhat looking nice again. But where I really want to show you something nice and that is when we're going to make it fit our tile again. So I'm just going to draw my shadow below here now. Again, just kind of make a, a random, you know, pattern of things that looks like it's going to drop down. So it has that kind of shadowish look underneath it. And the next thing I'm going to do is that I'm going up here. I'm selecting my middle tile, pressing control B. And that way I turn that middle tile into a brush. Now you may experience that it looks like this. And if you don't, good for you. Just make sure up here in the brush settings, it says pattern aligned to source. That way you can basically just draw your tile here. And we can go down here now, take our magic wand, select everything outside, take my brush and I can just paint the tile in again so it looks clean. And then, oops, am I just gonna clean it up down here? But that way we basically just made a slope fairly easy without much of redrawing uh, a bit of fixing but mostly just kind of taking what we had and reusing it so we're just going to do that exact same thing for the opposite side so we have a slope that goes the opposite way all right so we now have our two uh, long slopes here i'm just gonna put them together like this and place them up here on our tile sheet. So the next thing we're going to make after the long slopes are the steep slopes. And the process of making this are exactly the same from the steep slopes, just that instead of we're using a two tile wide one, we are doing it a single tile. So I'm gonna speed this process up a little more. You don't wanna watch me do this four times in a row, believe me. All right, so like before, I'm just gonna showcase a little bit. We're going to take the two tops here, copy, paste them down. And we're just going to do the same here, but instead of making them three wide like we did before, we're just going to make it one wide. And instead of deselecting two pixels, we're just going to deselect one pixel. So let me speed this up. I will say that the steep slope requires a little more cleanup than the long slope did, but that's just the nature of distorting things more. All right, so that's basically it for this tile set. Here you got yourself a pretty advanced tile set. You can of course make it more advanced, but this is the type of tile set I would make for every kind of project that I start working on. It has a lot of effects and it can make things look very interesting with just these tiles alone. So congratulations, you came through this. You might've made something even better than I did. You might've made something that you want to do all over because it was the first time you tried it and first time you try something is usually not going very well. So watch the video again if you need. Hope you had fun. I hope you learned something. You now have the power of a tile set and that is a power that requires a lot of responsibility. But if you ever wanted to put your tile set into a video game engine, I highly recommend checking out my friend Bragacy. He has just made a video on how to implement a tile set like these into Unity and use a new neat feature that you might want to learn as well. So check his video out at the end of this video. But if you just want to learn more pixel art, I also got a new little thing that I want to show you guys. And that is because I have launched a website where it's going to be a lot easier for you to figure out what kind of videos I have. I'll leave a link to my video library down 
below where you can find a nice overview of all the videos I've made and all the videos that will come in the future. This way it's easy to figure out where to start, the certain topics that you might be interested in and in general just be able to find what you're looking for a lot easier. But that's not it. I also have to do a little shameless self-promotion. Being independent is hard guys so check out my shirt store if you want to check out some cool pixel apparel or you can also check out my asset store where you can download free to use sprite sheet, color palettes and all sorts of things for you. There's also a few page things in there but check a look, check if there's something you would like to use. Let me know if you ever use any of it in any of your projects, I would love to see it. Thank you so much for watching the video guys, if you like what you saw make sure to give the video a like and if you want to see more content like this make sure to subscribe. You can also help me help you by supporting on Patreon or become a Twitch subscriber and with that said thank you so much for watching.